Hello everyone and welcome to E-Dogs Reviews. Today I will be taking a look at the Tobots Galaxy Detective Season 2 Riptide. This figure does come in robot mode as you can see by the box and the figure that is on the right. The original box is in Korean. This is the English version of it and there's also a Japanese version. These figures are also sold in the Philippines so there might be a slight difference in the box as a whole and then there might be some paint differences uh, on the figure if you do not know anything about galaxy detective season two which came out in 2020 please allow me to read the backstory the story shifts to a new cast in smile city and discovers galaxy weapon four and creates new tobots these heroes now face off against a short-tempered and egomaniac named Bubble Cat, who is then overthrown by a superior order of villains. Things start heating up as Tyler, Master V, and Zora enter Smile City looking for Galaxy Weapon 6, allowing both groups to team up for a final showdown against Pulsar himself. So let's take you around the box. This is what the box looks like in English. We have ages four and up. We have this QR code that takes you to YouTube so you can watch all the episodes. There we have the robot mode here. We have the vehicle mode there. It says Riptide Galaxy Detectives. We have Young Toys, which is based out in Seoul, which is located in Korea. Uh, on the left-hand side, bottom, we have there's a choking hazard. Please keep it out of uh, kids under three years old. They like to stick small items in their mouths. You know it. On this side of the box, we have Tobots and Riptide there. He's kind of reaching out with his right arm, I believe, there. Or either that, he's doing a stance. Maybe one of those dance stances. You never know. On the back of the box, we have them in the robot mode here. We have the vehicle mode there. We have this stuff that's going on here, which is the same thing. Vehicle, robot. We have the stage. I'm not going to focus on the stage. You can use it if you want to. But I'm not going to use it here. And then we have um, uh, a featured guest, which is Ultra Commander. And it says Riptide's Galaxy Detectives. And underneath that, it says Tobot Galaxy Detectives Season 2. Young Toys there. On this side of the box, it just says Riptide. He's facing off to his right-hand side, I'm thinking. And it, 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 it has the Riptide there. Galaxy Detectives. Young Toys down there. Tobot Riptide here. Galaxy Detectives. And then on the bottom is this barcodes and things. And a warning to keep it out of small kitties' hands and stuff like that. In Korea, Riptide's name is Boat King. That's the name he goes by if you're, if you're watching it in Korean. And if you want to know his uh, aliases, that is one of them. So this guy is considered what I like to call a mini kind from Transformers. He's he's smaller than all of them. There's two more like the in uh in this group, so we'll go through all of that. But this is what the figure looks like from the front. Let's see if Oh god goodness, that's much that could be better. That's better. That's much better. Right? This is what the figure looks like from the front. Right? You see all the colors there. Here's what the figure looks like from the side. This one looks like from the back. Here's from the other side. And there is a close-up. Let's see if we can get the close-up happening in there. That's the best I can do with the light on, right? Right, you can barely make out his lips there. But it's there. Trust me, it's there. Right? Now, these figures are based on friction clips, pegs, stiff ratchet joints. Well-made figures. The bad is that there's not a lot of articulation because they're meant for kids who are like four years old. So it's not a transformer where uh, it's aged, um, what is it, 13 and up, I think. No, actually it's aged eight and up. So articulations are going to be uh, greater on a transformer than this. So let me just take you around the articulation so I can show you what I'm talking about. So you can go up and down on the shoulder, right? And that is part to the transformation, but you can do it. Now you can swing around this way and it's gonna get stuck on something. So that's as far as back as I can get it there. 
and that's and that's as far backwards I can get it right there's no outward move well you can count this as an upward movement here that's that's all you're gonna get the arm right so where's the arm right so the arm lower arm as I say only bends that much and that's the elbow right here so it goes from here right that's let's say it here that's the resting point right here and then we go that that's that's as much as you're gonna get right on the leg you can go all the way up on the leg and that's not too bad bring it down on the knee way more than needs to but that's for the transformation you can bring it out on the leg like that that's fine bring it backwards on this side That's as far as you're gonna get on the thigh because it's it's being stopped by the the hip piece right here. Opposite side, same thing. You can go up and down with the shoulder, and again, but this side you're only getting that much room. Let me see if I can get it clearer. That's that's all you're gonna get on that elbow. The head does not move to the left or the right, but it is on a uh, spring-loaded um, mechanism that allows it to pop up. I'll demonstrate that later on. Behind the head is a radar dish of the ship. So, but that's that. Uh, do you, we're gonna do some comparisons. We need to lower this, so you know what I'm saying. All right, so we're gonna bring in some transformers first. Here is Huffer. Slightly shorter than him. And here is Master Keys. Uh, Bumblebee. Here is Master Keys. Wheeljack. Just show you the height difference between all these guys. So we, if we do this. kind of gauge what's going on there so you have that now we do have one character ready from the Tobot season two His name is Par. What's that? His name. His name is Art Boat. His name is Bart Art Boat. Right, and that's the height difference between both of these guys. Well, all right. So transformation, very simple. There's only about six steps, like five steps going into it, and then there's six steps coming out of it, depending on if you count the uh, the spring loaded gimmick. Plus, they have the stage over here. If you want to use that, we're not. So let's start the uh, the transformation because I think that uh, it's very interesting. There's there's new stuff in here, and what I want to do is I'm going to focus on the arms first. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the arm up like that, and you're going to see this hinge right here. So it's going to open backwards. Like that so you turn look for this hinge you open it like that right now this has to match with this right so we're going to bring it backwards like so and we're going to turn this around so this matches this red matches that that piece right there same thing we're going to bring the arm back Right, I'm going to turn this around so that all of this matches. Right, so it should look like this. Right, we want to turn it this way, turn this way on the shoulder just to get it ready. We're going to take the feet, we're going to fold these up, 
and you want to bring the uh, the thighs up like so and what we need to do is we need to press this upwards like that make sure this piece goes in here make sure that piece goes in there now there's a friction clip here let me just back up real quick uh, there's a fr male friction clip here there's a female there and then there's two ports on that side and all of this is going to come together like that now we're going to bring this up make sure all of this is together right right now we want to take this panel and we want to clip it into this male piece and it's going to push this locking mechanism into place. So we're just gonna bring this down, click. Make sure all of this is in place. Good. Do the same thing on this side. You're just gonna bring it down. Make sure all of this is in place. Fine. Take the head and there you go. Now that's the first time the head popped in there without these side pieces popping off. So sometimes you may have to use a little bit more pressure on either side to, to push the head down so it, it will click. And there you have it. You have uh, a ship. You have your radar ship here, or I'd say, say your aircraft ship right here. So you got the radar uh, dish here. You have the anchor. You have the two uh, medallions there from the uh, robot mode. Um, you have the side of the ship right here. We have the back. Nothing to complain about other side you have the top you have two air uh, aircraft carriers there and you have two cans there right I'm not exactly sure what these two pieces are in the back but there was a, those were his feet um the only thing that's obvious is the hands the hands are right there right there um the eyes can be fooled as windows just if you wanted to but that's it. Underneath, you can just tell those are the legs right there. So, what we're going to do is bring in some of his uh, colleagues. So, we're going to bring in Jack Cameron, who is a part of the Tobot Ranger Force. And we're going to bring in Crosswind. So these three guys are rangers, they are part of a team, and they listen to their ultra commander, ultra, uh, ultra general, I would say he's a general, two star general ultra commander in this team. So you have that, and you have that. From the side. This guy kind of reminds me of Metal Slug. If you know what Metal Slug is, there's six versions of that game. So I hope somebody out there knows what I'm talking about. Back. This angle. And this. All right. Now, what you can do with these three guys is you can bring in ultra commander now ultra commander does not have any pegs or friction clips back here pretty much they simply rest in this area right here so you can put this guy there and you can mount it there you know put it on display kind of a thing whatever let's say he's not your character you can put jackhammer there just in case have that luck going on matter of fact let me just back up real quick that's what it looks like from the front kind of sort of from an angle that's what that looks like and that's what that looks like now let's say you didn't want jackhammer there you want crosswind you can put crosswind there So we're gonna leave, we're gonna put this one on the side because we, you're gonna need him in a minute. Right? So now, 
we're going to go back into the robot boat and it's very easy and once i had done unclicking this the head is going to pop up there's there's no button or release thing it's just something that happens so you want to undo that you see the head popped up Right, bring the head down. You got the legs down here. Just swing them right over. Separate. Right, bring the arm down. You want to close this up. Right, you can turn it this way if you wanted to. Swing that around like that. It's on a ball joint. Don't worry. If it pops off. You just pop it back on. Uh, bring this down. And there you go. Let me just bring down the light just a little bit. And there you go back into zero robot mode. And there's no waste articulation here, ladies and gents. I forgot to mention that. Right, so we're going to do this one. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to press the cannon. It's going to unlock all of this stuff. Bring this down. We're going to take care of the heels. We're going to bring the heels back. You can leave them at an angle if you want to. Bring down the feet. We want to rotate these down. Separate. Uh, you want to bring up on the shoulder. Make sure that's up. Bring down the arm. You can bring this down like this if you wanted to. Right. Bring down the arm. Adjust the arms as you want. And there you have Jack Hammer in his robot mode. Right. So, bring it back. That's two. Then we have Crosswind. We're going to take care of the back piece first. Flip this over. Separate. And you take this button, you press it, and then it does it by itself. There you go. And if you want to, you can bring the visor down or you can bring the visor up. And there you have your Tobot Rangers, Crosswind, Jackhammer, and Riptide. Right, so put these guys in the back. We're going to bring this in real quick. This is the last time I'm going to do it. We're going to go from the vehicle mode to the kaiju mode to the robot mode, which is very easy. So we're going to take this piece right here, separate. And since we're going into the kaiju mode, we're just going to take these two end pieces. And we're going to clip these together, flip them upside down. Good to go. Uh, we're going to take the feet. Bring that down. Lower leg. Fix the feet. Get the feet under there. Bring this down. Lower leg. Bring this up. Bring down the feet. Like that. I'm going to separate. There we go. Two on the side. One, two on that side. Okay, so now we have to focus on uh, this piece right here. We're going to move this piece up and we're going to put it in this section right here. Right? Uh, do, do, do. We're going to unhook this like that. And we're going to, we, need, we need to turn at an angle. Clip it back in. Right. Bring up the leg. Right. 
We're just getting this ready. So take this panel, bring this up. Take the tail, plug it in. That went too far, way too far. Hold on. Take the hand, swing it around like that. Take the hand, swivel on this side, take the arm, bring this out, swivel, swivel right around. Take the hand, that sit right there. Uh, we have to get the, the feet out, because that's not gonna work like that. We're gonna open up the chest, bring out this piece right here. And we're gonna take this piece and pop it in here. Right. We're gonna bring the mouth down. Oops, no, the mouth, thank you. And here he is in his kaiju mode. So we're gonna put him in the background, show how that looks. Right? So you have that right there. I'm gonna bring up the camera we just a little bit we're gonna go this way just to show you the height difference and the size that's what you're working with there and back next we're gonna go into robot mode so all we have to do is straighten out the legs bring down this piece bring down that piece take this piece right here the tail we need to unlock this Mm. Right. Take the hands, flip them back, take the arms, swivel back this way, fold in, take the hands, swivel back into place, take the arm, swivel backwards, pop that in. Right. Open up this door. Right, take this piece. You need to take this piece off. Right, take this back door. Open that. Fold this in. Crop that close. Go back here. Bring that up. Close it. Take this piece. You want to pop it into here in this slot. There you go. And you pop this in the socket. Okay. Same thing on the upside side. Okay. Almost there. We're almost there. So take this piece right here and the end, flip it backwards. You take this piece and you want to extend without popping it off. Bring this down. Turn around on the bicep. You take this great piece, flip it back. Same thing, opposite side. Take the end piece, flip the back. Take this piece, extend. Hopefully it won't pop off the arm. Bring down, swivel at the bicep. We take this great piece, flip back. All right, and there you have it. You're gonna put him in the background. And that is it. I'm trying to figure out who came first. Let's put him first. Right. And there you have Sergeant Ultra Commander with his Tobot Ranger 
crosswind, which is in the front, jack camera, which is in that side over there, the green guy, and then you have um, Riptide, which is on the opposite side. I'm off center. So, so there you have it. So I hope you ladies and gents enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like at the end of the video. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below in the suggestion box. If you have any suggestions eh, for me, leave them down below. Now, if you want to watch the Tobot series, you can watch them on Me Watch slash Toggle in Singapore, Monster Channel in the in Malaysia, Cartoon Network including the Philippines, YouTube, and Netflix. Netflix will probably be your best because uh, they have all the episodes in a row, so you won't be able to miss it. YouTube does a very good job. Is is that some? Episodes are not in order. Let's just say that much. You do, you do got to search. So there you have that. Now after this, there are two more characters, and that's going to be the finale of season two. So please wait for that. As for season three, it's going to be a mixed bag of English and Korean figures. Plus, on top of that, there is one figure. I don't believe they made yet. I think it's their last figure of season three. They never made it. I haven't seen it. I checked YouTube. I just, I can't find it. So we're going to put that on hold for a while. And we're going to go back to Transformers. So what we're going to be having on the show will be uh, Bone Crusher, the new NPM Bone Crusher. Uh, if you pay attention to uh, TFW, uh, 2000, 2005, uh, there's a prototype of a new MPM um, bra that they're making. So we're going to, you know, as soon as they get that finalized, we'll, we'll have that one on the show. Um, somewhere between now and Febru February, we should have our hands on Deathsaurus. So we're going to be doing two back-to-back. -back. So I have his, his, uh, his, his buddy <laughs> that I never opened. Uh, I'm just waiting to be reviewed. Um, other than that, what's on the shelves are Ratchet. Mm -hmm. Ratchet and pretty much that's it. So I want to thank you ladies and gents for watching. Please stay tuned to the next review. Goodbye.